at this stage were done from building the business the info platform of course and the business process itself is done but at, as you know there is some workflow utilities that's required for every process to facilitate and to uh, to enable things to be trackable and to make some not which are the notifications which are the emails and the second thing is the task assignment so that maybe the user can go to uncheck his tasks and start doing the approval and rejection so let us first go with the emails when the employee submit his uh, submission there is two types of actions that happen he need to receive a message from to uh, the to himself which is the created field I will use the create to he need to uh, current item that created created by he will and we will use the email address of course okay he will see you know he will be notified that your leave I will, I will see leave submitted you need to sub to receive some notification that he sub submitted leave so we can say dear created by employee now we will use display name you have successfully submitted your leave and now if you want to regard system administrator um, you can add also the time you can add the name of the team leader you can add anything through this lookup as you may know but we just will just keep it simple and we need to notify the other the team leader of course so we will also add something called send email activity to the team leader so now we will not go we will go also to the workflow lookup user and we will go to the current item team leader and we will go to the team leader and pick his email address of course this should be configured in the SharePoint also on a pending your pending approval leave pending approval for example leave request pending approval so dear dear uh, the team leader which is the team leader display name there is an item waiting your approval now you can just uh, enable him to send him to the edit link of this uh, for example if you go to the edit you can see that you can uh, take him to the edit item of this uh, and for example you can take this uh, link from here if you want to take him to the edit as you can see edit field you can there's the list ID is the same the ID uh, the list ID is the same and the ID is for maybe here you can uh, add the lookup for this ID and you can make it here you can remove the dialog box and you can just have something look up here to add the ID if you want that's it okay that's it <coughs> so here we, we send the email and we can also add the emails I will not add them because it's the same idea and uh, finally I will assign a task there is assign to do item for whom assign to do item here we will call it uh, pending approve leave we will call it no this is the name of the task and the user that will be assigned which is the team leader so if we go here to the current item to the team leader as a login name now we will use the login name for the task assignment so we have two emails sent and a team the team leader will receive a task so for example I will go to the I'm using now the account uh, the right account okay I will just try to just to make sure that everything is working EPD test 2 for example this is and here EPD here is the next user EPD test 3 okay and here is I'm not feeling well 
I will add I will do the submit so as you will see if I check my I don't know if I'm opening the email address I will go first to the tasks list and I will see that there is there is a task or no there is no task oh there is a task which is approved the leave as you can see and there is a related item which is not title we can add the better uh, related item here so welcome team leader I can just edit and go ahead so there is uh, one way to access this uh, form the other way is through the email address I don't know if I received the email address or not I will check the out my outlook which is which should be EPD test 3 okay here is the item maybe it should be a link but however it, it should be fixed but then it's an uh, okay so here is also the steam leader can also access the link from here the final thing that I need to talk about is the history list which is just you can just add an activity to fill the history for example if you want to add some reporting or tracking you can add something called Lego history list which is which is the writing with an you can say like an employee submitted his leave on something on for example you can take the created date here created date okay as a string okay and employee we can say for example here the employee's name current item is created by and so on it's just for that you know that if you want to have some specific reporting system on the leave you can do it through the history and you can read it through XSL or you can have uh, .NET code that do everything so that, that was the full demonstration of how to develop a simple uh, SharePoint uh, InfoPath based codeless workflow through the InfoPath 2010 and SharePoint Zen 2010 and SharePoint 2010 thank you very much